So today I will be showing you the heat treat area and how to start a program and complete a heat treat process. As you can see, we have the timer box to control oven one and oven two. And we also have quench oil. And we will start with turning on timer number one. And after timer number one is on, you can then turn on oven number one. Once you see that the idle is displayed, you can then start to set up the program by selecting number four, the program button. It will then say user and a number. The number corresponds to your program number, which you can select anything from one through nine. We'll just stay with program number eight. Hit enter. Once you see RA1, that stands for the firing rate segment for the first one and it is the temperature change per hour from one degree to 9,990 degrees. In order to do this as fast as we can, we will select 9,999. Hit enter. Once you see F1, that stands for the target temperature of segment one, or which temperature you want the oven to heat up to. We will select 1,000 degrees and hit enter. HD1 represents the hold time and full numbers are in increments of one hour and decimal numbers are in increments of minutes. So we have 0.5 displayed here which would correspond to 30 minutes which is perfect for this segment. Hit enter. RA2 is the same as RA1 which also stands for the firing rate for the segment or the temperature change per hour and we will stay at 1000 so that way our temperature does not, not rise above the desired temperature for heat treat. Hit enter. F2 stands for the desired temperature for the heat treat process. And you can hit enter. HD2 stands for the hold time on segment 2. And we have it set for 30 minutes. And you can hit enter. RA3 is not needed for this heat treat process since we do not have an another segment in order to complete it. Then you can hit enter. Once you see idle reappear, that means that the programming is complete and you can start the process. Hit enter one more time and you see that start is displayed. You hit enter start one more time and then you should see three buttons right here light up and that means that it has began firing. You can then let the oven get up to your desired temperature and then you may place your chisel in the oven. And then put your part in the oven. You'll need your gloves, tongs, and your part. You open the door, set the chisel in there, close the door, and then you wait for the whole time to then go to your desired temperature for rate 2. The door is inserted, you can then turn on the argon gas that flows through this regulator. But to do that, you'll have to go outside to the bottle and turn it on set your pressure to approximately 20 and then you can go back inside and turn the pressure up to just above 10 amount of time. You're going to take it out, put it in the quench oil, and then you leave it in the quench oil for one minute. But the key to this is you have to do it as fast as you can. Huh? 
And once it's in there, you leave it in there for a minute. You can kind of stir it around, make sure it doesn't develop a, a warm spot. And once you do this, you'll take it over to the bird bath and you'll soak it and rinse it off until it's cool. You can then take it over to the bird bath and rinse it off. Just kind of rinse the oil off and pull it down a little bit. And go ahead and stop it. You have cleaned it off, then you take the chisel, set it on the Rockwell tester, and you spin the style until you get up, hold on, and then once it's close, you're going to want to watch these two dials, you spin, no, someone didn't do this right. Spin these two dials, alright, just stop it. Get it off, then you take your chisel. Set it on here, on the anvil, and what you want to do is you want to watch these two needles. You want them both to be lined vertically, and then you, once you get it close, you can use this fine adjustment knob to make sure that the large dial is set at zero. And the scale that you're reading is the black scale around the outside, which is the Rockwell C scale. Once it's all lined up, you hit the trip lever. And the dial will go around, and once it stops, you'll then pull this lever back, and it reads 53, just over 53 Rockwell, which is right in the tolerance. So this is a good chisel.